Howdy 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 my beautiful Virgo, how are you doing darling? My name is Simply Velka and today we're going to be doing your monthly tarot reading Virgo for July 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today Virgo, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It's completely free to do darling and comment down below how this monthly tarot reading resonates with you. Be sure Virgo as well to check out your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign as well in your astrology chart because that's how you get the full understanding of what's going on in your life when it comes to consuming general tarot readings on YouTube darling catering to your astrological chart all right so today virgo we're going to be tapping into your career life as well as your social life and then general predictions for you darling all right so we're going to be starting out let's take a look in regards to your career for the month of july here virgo all right the empress the four of pentacles as well as the wheel of fortune coming in for you here virgo all right in regards to your career all right y'all definitely an increase in money coming in here for you guys in the home life virgo all right i get for some of you guys someone close to you is going to be receiving a solid promotion as well that really directly benefits you all right but this is a card of investments all right you have the empress energy which is also a card of nurturing here um a card of growth all right and so so uh, really for you guys, the month of uh, July, Virgo, is going to be a time of where, especially for those that have feel, felt as if um, they've been going through a certain type of dry spell, things are going to be picking up for you in a very solid way, Virgo. All right. So very smart investments, I'll say, darling, very smart investments. So let's take a look in regards to your social. We're going to clarify that later on. <sighs> all right here <laughs> virgo socially it seems to be social life could be your platonic life your romantic darling someone in the career family darling all right it's a general tarot reading so it's all encompassing right but socially for you guys virgo everything's really positive for the month of july for you guys here you got very powerful cards here six of wands as well as pentacles here with the sun card the very best tarot card in the deck here virgo all right your social life is the best that it's probably going to be in a best of this year really uh virgo all right you are extremely attractive at this time especially because you have that empress energy blessing you as well for your career so a lot of success is coming your way here in both the physical or the social aspect as well as your desires right with your career all right the six of wands represents victory in a spotlight you're going to be getting a lot more attention this month here and i get for some of you virgos when it comes to certain rela relationships whether there has just been a lack of communication recently Virgo or perhaps um things have been a little bit rocky with some type of relationship in your life that is definitely improving because I feel like some of you guys were even questioning if you were going to be still uh still speak to this person all right so definitely social life seems to be picking up greatly for you all right now Virgo let's take a look at your general predictions here Mm -mm. eight of wands coming in here queen of swords as well as the two of swords coming in here so definitely travel is coming for some of you guys virgo all right i get travel for you guys i get you guys finally choosing to commit to a decision towards like either moving all right committing to the decision towards moving or starting the process of uh saving to move here all right in july something's going to cause for you to commit to making a drastic change here whether this is in regards to just your living environment whether this is in regards to your career social you're going to be making a very big move a very big life-changing uh experience uh, situation be manifesting due to some decision that you make darling all right so um what kind of what are y'all committing to oh, i'm interested now all right so overall here virgo i like where this energy is going let's start clarifying this energy when it comes to your career when it comes to your financial situation here four of pentacles the wheel of fortune with this empress all right virgo what i get for some of you guys here virgo i again i'm obviously not a financial ma <laughs> manager all right um this is just what i'm getting through tarot cards but i i don't know anything about stocks but i get like this direct message of where it's just like stocks going up and i know that's been um 
really questionable lately but i don't know i get for those that have been investing into like some type of cryptocurrency and stuff like that like i've never said a message like this but i really feel drawn to that that this is going to be a really solid month for my virgos that are doing some type of investments in something all right um play the long game though all right with that empress energy the empress energy isn't about rushing things she trusts she she trusts the process among things so this is not going to be a month where it's like you hit the jackpot here virgo uh but you're setting the decisions that you make this month it will be as if that you hit the jackpot every single month after the fact because of what you benefit from that initial investment you get such insane return from that initial investment right and when you have that wheel of fortune coming in here this lets me know virgo that for a while now you guys have been struggling financially for a little bit struggling to pay the bills or maybe you just have been having this desire of needing to make more money so you can put keep your head above water all right or just like gain some distance between you and the struggle right especially in this economy honey right if you're in the united states so let's clarify this nine of pentacles coming in here star energy two of wands stepping forward here very powerful stuff here for you guys virgo for the month of july here all right the star energy that's a wish being granted for you all right you guys are getting back on track with your path virgo i virgo i hear for some of you guys two of wands again the sense of making long-term plans i really get the sense that some of you guys are like virgo are some of you guys planning on changing states moving countries here like i i keep on getting just like this sense of just like the actions that you're taking now are setting you up for some big change in your life in the future here i don't know why i keep on getting that nine of pentacles that's the best card that you want to be having to have uh virgo for your career because this is the card of extremely successful self-employment all right so again you know the nine of pentacles is the epitome virgo of those that make um, personal investment decisions personal decisions when it comes to their money that gives a greater return all right so very big blessing in that way uh virgo for those that choose to make those independent choices for your career and financial situation all right darling so that's what i got on that like overall really 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 solid there's no cards that's making me like raise an eyebrow virgo i like where everything is going for you guys in that department now socially for you guys six of pentacles six of wands virgo with the uh sun energy the best card in the tarot deck not only did you ooh, girl not that crystal falling not only uh virgo did you get the star energy you got the sun card so you got two very powerful cards for your social life here all right for my singles i feel as if i mean the clarifiers will definitely let me know for sure but i get for my singles for those who have been talking to somebody virgo all right this could be even in a romantic way or it could be just like trying to get to know someone more right it's just in that general sense like i feel as if there's going to be progression with someone that you've been trying to get to know more all right i feel like someone's going to be putting more effort when it comes to communicating with you this month here virgo all right so definitely for sure i feel like you're going to be getting a lot of people trying to talk to you this month like you went for all through june with having your phone maybe not ever having any notifications go off besides like the scam callers and stuff like that virgo um but i feel like for you in july like a lot of people are going to be blowing up your phone a lot of people are finding you desirable at this time here virgo all right and i get again as i said at the beginning of this video i get like the sense of just like some relationships for virgos that they thought were you know y'all were not going to be speaking to them anymore soon i feel like that's going to be rectifying itself here virgo i definitely feel like that's going to be rectifying itself so let's clarify this <clears throat> yeah Ten of Wands here, Four of Swords with the Hermit energy here, Virgo. All right, this is your energy, darling. All right, definitely healing, definitely healing. But it comes in at the sense of needing some initial distance. All right, maybe the first part of this month here, Virgo, is going to be still a little bit more quiet for you. I get because I feel like there is like the sense of like you need to. Um, have some time to yourself to either focus on your finances there's just like this sense of needing alone time <clears throat> excuse me having the sense of needing alone time virgo and then after that alone time maybe after like the first half of this month the first couple of weeks of this month uh taurus why am i i called you july I called you taurus virgo everything but besides uh virgo my goodness but yeah virgo 
maybe the first couple of uh, weeks of this month um, are a little bit slow because, you, but I feel like that's of your own uh, choosing. I feel like the moment you put yourself out there, like your inbox is going to be getting filled up. People are going to start trying to reach out to you, communicating with you, and just overall wanting to spend more time with you, wanting to put more effort in. Again, you're going to be noticing a lot of behaviors from certain individuals, Virgo, that you were not anticipating beforehand. Like for like months beforehand, they were consistently just very dry as a talker and then out of the blue they start talking to you virgo and you're probably gonna just be sitting there being like girl what you want from me like what you know what's what's changed right and i think that nothing's changed it's just like this is just a time where people are finding you really attractive virgo and wanting to engage with you more darling all right all right and so in your general predictions virgo we have the queen of swords two of swords with the eight of wands here as i said i get movement for you guys i get like some life-altering decision here coming in for you virgo it's like you guys make the decision to do a drastic change or set yourself up for it. Like, again, I get the sense that some of you guys are planning on like moving out of a country, moving states here. You guys are doing a very big move. All right. I don't feel like you're take bringing much along with you here. All right. There's like things are not going to be the same. Uh, for you in the coming days Virgo that is for sure things are not going to be the same for you in the coming days like July is going to be a month for you that you decided to change your life Virgo in some very major way so <clears throat> coming in here we have the king of swords five of swords here virgo with the page of cups stepping forward to you to clarify this here i feel like what's pushing you to this point of doing this drastic change is due to this five of swords energy here there's some type of disappointment some type of shadiness that's happened to you that gave you like this wake-up call virgo where you decided being like all right if i'm wanting a change if i'm wanting to have something different for myself here things have like you realize that you have to come into new energy here right something is mo going to be motivating you virgo in the month of july to um really just avoid it all where you realize like the stress the dramas are just not worth it to you and your loved ones anymore all right i really get that again and you may but you might be even sitting here listening right now virgo and you're just like velka i don't plan on moving honey not in this economy honey okay but i i, I don't know man i feel like there's just gonna be like something sudden that happens that makes you finally decide being like you know what this just is not worth it you don't want to do it anymore right and that's what pushes you to that change <clears throat> excuse me so we have the cardinal card coming in here for you virgo your the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and your physical pleasures are out of balance so do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium here I feel like that's what you're going to be doing for the initial first couple of weeks of this month here. Virgo is getting back into alignment with yourself. I would say for some, many of you Virgos, you could agree that you've been feeling very ungrounded. I feel like the moment you start grounding yourself more Virgo, um, that's when new things will start opening up for you. All right. Kiwi card coming in here. Do a walking meditation for the next week. Right. Come on now. This is literally the self care that I was just talking about, Virgo, that you'll be having at the beginning of this month here. And then right afterwards, we have the seagull card. Now is the time for deep emotional healing. So, do the first couple of weeks this month, uh, during this month of July, Virgo, do not feel bad if you are just closing the curtains. You know, if you get you some blackout curtains, honey. All right. And turn off your phone for a while. This is just, you need your you time all right i feel like it is necessary for you just to have time to yourself so you can just like sit things over and process and all of that uh virgo and then afterwards when you come back out of hiding come back out of that hermit mode you like the world becomes like like the world just like shifts towards you the world uh opens up for you virgo all right so let's get these moon cards coming in here honey it's i'm in florida now virgo we're getting ready for a storm right now i'm gonna have to turn on some more lights it's been getting dark and it's thundering i can't wait virgo um all right do y'all like storms let me know uh so last quarter moon in sagittarius practice gratitude here virgo all right this is more so of a mindset thing all right helping the healing process during the first couple of weeks so you you know it's very like what makes shadow work can be a risky thing it's getting lost in the saw while you're doing shadow work right because you can really get stuck into that spiral of self-pity or just like all those heavy energies so you need to constantly practice gratitude and just do it do a vibe check for yourself once in a while all right talk less and feel more 
All right. Again, going back into the, to this hermit energy and then leaving the past behind here. All right. I like this a lot for you, Virgo. You guys are going through a very transformative time. And again, I feel like this month for you is going to be one that is extremely memorable for one reason or another, darling. All right. So that's the monthly tarot reading that I have for you, Virgo, darling. All right. If you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonated. I also do weekly Zodiac tarot readings on this channel here uh virgo so be sure to check out those videos all right be sure to check out your sun moon rising and venus sign and remember virgo if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simply valco Dot com. Next to my social medias, if you want to connect with me on a more intimate level, TikTok and Instagram are also linked down below. Simply Velka, same as here, darling. All right. But hopefully, Virgo, I can see you sometime in the near future, darling. I love you so much. Bye.